Hi, today in this video we are going to see how we can integrate Google Gemini APIs within our Spring AI apps. Before we deep dive into the implementation, there are few prerequisites which we need to perform. Like first, we need to go to studio.google.com, wherein we need to sign in with our Google account. Post which we need to create an API key. Once the API key is created, store it somewhere, which we will require this at a later stage. Also, here you can see we have the list of models that we can access via Google Gemini API. So we will be focusing on the free models, uh, wherein no charges are associated for input as well as output tokens. So here you can see we have one such model, Gemini 2.0 Flash wherein the you can see the cost which is mentioned is zero dot zero dollars for input as well as output also this model supports the tool usage which means we can also make use of this llm to work with the uh, different mcp servers that we have we will also see this use case apart from this we also have some other models like flash light uh, flash thinking uh, as well as 2.0 pro but here you can see with more with most of the models uh, there are certain charges associated with it if we are making use of the uh, apis so we, uh, in our demo we will be only focusing on the um, gemini 2.0 flash uh, uh, once we got the api key now what we need to do is uh, we need to create the simple spring ai project so i have already created the one i will quickly showcase you what all dependencies i have added first dependency is the spring boot starter web which is for creating the uh, rest api endpoints another one is the spring ai open ai dependency i'll come to this part why we have added this even though we are working with gemini another thing is we have added spring ai mcp client so in order to work with the mcp servers so we need to add the mcp client so that our application can interact with the different mcp servers and then we have added the spring ai bomb which will manage the spring ai dependencies now coming back to this endpoint why we have added the open ai dependency and not the google gemini uh, dependency so for this i will showcase you one thing so when you go to start.spring.io project and when you create the sample project and if you search for um, Gemini dependencies here you will see we are getting the vertex AI Gemini uh, dependency so for whatever models that are available here it is making use of different API whereas the vertex API is different basically it is for the production grade application and also all the models that are present inside vertex uh, ai uh, are the chargeable so in case of spring boot we don't have any direct dependency for working with google gemini uh, especially with the models that are that i showcase you in case of aistudio.google.com so what we will do google has provided one functionality wherein we can make use of gemini apis that are compatible with the open ai libraries as well so here you can see gemini models are accessible using the open ai libraries all we have to do is we have to make use of this host and endpoint we need to provide our gemini api key which we have seen earlier and we have to specify the gem which model we want to work with so in our case we will be working with gemini 2.0 flash so we are making use of this functionality to call the google gemini apis now coming back to this part even though we have added the open ai libraries but we will configure the endpoint and host that we have seen just now so here you can see uh, in case of open api we will give the um, gemini api key that we received we are specifying the host and the path that we want to call and also we are specifying the model with which we want to work with now for now we can skip this part i'll come to this later so once we have configured the gemini uh, api within our application uh, we will see one simple controller uh, uh, wherein we have added one we have created one simple endpoint mcp interact which is useful for interacting with gemini uh, 2.0 model so it is making use of the chat client uh, then whatever input we will receive from the user it will send that 
input to the uh, Gemini LLM model and whatever response we will get we will directly return it back to the user now coming to the chat client we have the chat client config here you can see we are just creating the chat client bean with the help of the builder nothing uh, specific we are just making use of the builder which is creating the chat client bean and same chat client bean we are making we are using inside the controller to call our to call the google gemini llm so i have started the app uh, here you can see we have the chat dot ask endpoint i am just sending a simple command hello how are you and what model are you based in let me restart the app yeah so i am sending a simple command wherein you can see uh, uh, we got the reply and here it is saying i am a large language model trained by google so this was the simple integration with google gemini api now coming back to the mcp part as we have seen here uh, this model is also google gemini 2.0 is also supporting the uh, tools usage due to which i have added one simple mcp server with which our application will interact the name of the server is the file system this is basically useful for working with the files that are available on our local system and i have provided the access to one of the sample folder which we have created for the demo purpose so this was the configuration regarding mcp server now in case of chat client here you can see we are creating one separate chat client just for the demo purpose i have created two chat clients one without mcp support and one with mcp support here also we are making use of chat builder and inside this we are specifying the tools support as well which is nothing but related to the mcp now we have created separate controller for uh, mcp so here we have also created simple endpoint which will be mcp slash interact and whatever input we will get from user uh, we will send it to the uh, gemini with the help of chat client with mcp support that we have created so coming back to the postman here we have one more endpoint uh, that we have seen just now mcp slash interact here i am uh, i am asking the gemini api to list all folders that are available under this path this path is nothing but the same path that we have configured inside our application properties so i have provided limited access to the mcp server so when we send the command here you can see uh, it is also working with the mcp and it has listed what all folders that are available inside this folder yep so that was all regarding the uh, mcp uh, google gemini integration within the spring ai app also we have created the uh, text blog wherein the details are mentioned uh, also i have specified one section wherein uh, the difference between google ai versus vertex ai is mentioned in much detail you can go through it and the the example that we have discussed in this demo video is also uploaded on github if you are interested then you can check out the same and uh, try the different different possibilities yeah so that was all from my end thank you